Hey everybody, welcome back to Croft Vaughan. Alrighty, let's continue. I was just about to take a turn. And I gotta be honest, what I really wanna do is, I just wanna make the big jump over here to do the Grand Prix because I really don't wanna miss out on crossing that finish line. And if I don't jump up there, Jen very, may very well might, but this is a lot of good stuff to skip. So, I, I mean, if I just jump here, I mean, I'll give Jen one, two, three, four, five, six actions. I can't do it. So I'm just gonna jump up one. And so that gets me a worker and a new tech. So, hey, I've got a worker, hooray! And now I get to take either Diesel or Daimler. Or Daimler, I assume it's Daimler. And now that, what this guy does is, he gives me two icons that I can use on future turns to basically increase the amount of points I'll get off of doing a sale by two, or by four. At various points in the game. So taking this is effectively, if I'm confident I'm going to be able to get a sale, this is six points. Or, but this is really nice. This gives me two options. I think there's two of them. To basically, yeah, there's two of these change icons. They can actually let me change the car I have on offer. I could, you know, change the quality of the engine or how much I'm charging for it or how many people are servicing it. So if I'm starting to regret, and I am a little bit starting to regret having sent four guys here when two would have done, you know, I could at the last minute change and say, hey, let's pull a couple of them back. So I'm still beating Jen. So that's interesting. I think I will take Rudolph. All right, which means I get these two change markers. All right, which I can use at any point. Actually, I guess I could use it right now. But the thing is, I don't want to reveal my change until I know the era is almost over. Because if I, if I take two of these back right now, then Jen could put a car on the market that has two servicemen and undercuts my price, and then I'll get nothing. So I, I think I gotta wait for the time to be right to do this. Anyway, and so nobody took, uh, you know, so Daimler is out of the game, and we get, oh, a double body. Ooh, that is very nice. And an instant, immediately build an engine and a body at whatever your current tech level is. Okay, so that was it, that was my turn. And now, as always, at the end of your turn, I have the option to put another car in the market, although I can't. I've got an engine lying around, but I do not have a body. And so now it's Jen's turn. And I gotta say, Jen really wants that double, that double car. Cause then, you know, she'd have to put another engineer to work with it. But that means she would be generating level one, two, three, four. She'd be generating level four bodies, which is a huge bump up early in the game. But then if she makes this jump, she'll be giving me four actions, two workers and an engine and a car, so I could get another engine into sale. And you know, I could, because it's interesting, I mean, you know, so Jen is clearly making better bodies and engines than me. I've tried to compete with her on, what do you call it, prestige or, you know, service. There's also competing on price. If I put a car in the market that is super cheap and I get one of these customers and I end up selling to them, the interesting thing is when you sell to a cheap, when you successfully sell a, to a price conscious customer, you get double the points. So if I sold like a, a three to a price conscious customer, that's six points, I guess, because thematically back then, anybody who could actually make a car for the people that was cheap, you know, gets a lot of prestige. So, Ah, and that'd be giving me a lot for Jen to take these three actions. She'd be giving me four. I don't think she wants to do it. Plus, another thing, she would love to jump over here. She's going to jump up here. So that gets her another worker. And there's actually, there's an objective. Seven points for the first player to get all their workers, you know, out of the supply. So, you know, that could be something Jen is chasing after as well. And so she did that. And she also gets to build an engine. And remember, she builds level twos. Now, she could put this in one of her garages so she could, you know, put it towards another vehicle. But instead, Jen is going to install it on her race car. So now, every time she does the Grand Prix action, instead of moving forward like uh, one, like I do, she moves forward two. So she has the chance, depending on how things go, to catch up with me, or at the very least, move far enough ahead to take second place because currently she's in last place and will get nothing. She gets up to second place, that's four points. So that's an interesting thing. So Jen now has the fastest car, but fortunately I have a really early lead. All right, so that was Jen's turn and now it's my turn. And you know what? I am gonna make this jump. I, I'm gonna take this triple action. Uh, and, I've, and I count myself lucky that Jen get, let me have it. So I get to do three things. I get to move forward one. 
I get to create another customer and I get to do technology. And I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to increase this. All right, and my only engineer has to come down here. But now when I build a body, I'm building a level three body, which is kind of scary for Jen because she was planning on being able to, you know, monopolize the the industry's body because she has a level two body here. Now, if I build a level three body and undercut her price, I'll be the one to sell to the customer she attracted. And you know, so that was a bad move for Jen to let me have that thing. But I'm not complaining. All right. Although, boom, another double body. So Jen can flip the script. A double body and a single body. All right. So anyway, so that was that. I moved up. Uh, oh, and oh, I have to get a customer. Right. So this is going to be the second customer. And I do want to make sure there is a customer who is conscious about you know, the, the, you know, the, the service. So I'll put that in. And I just scored one point for attracting one of those types of customers. And there's one more. I could, and if in a given era, I attract two of the same type, uh, isn't, there's an achievement for that too, I believe. Isn't it? Yes, this one. The, if a player attracts two of the same type in a given era, that's three points. Okay. So, right, and now it's Jen's turn. And so she's got a tough choice. No, she doesn't. She, of course, she's going to do this because that will give her another worker and it will give her a body and it's a size, it's a level two. So she'll make a uh, Tatra 11. All right, so she has no engine to put in. I mean, she, if she did have this engine, she could put them together, but she put it in a race car. And let's see, so what, what was that she did? She did that, and, oh, and she got a worker. And now her choice is. Does she move forward again? I think so, because she wants to maintain a monopoly on the quality. And so she is taking tech and she will grab this. And she'll put somebody, if she had no engineers here, she would put it down and this wouldn't activate until later when she gets engineers or you know workers, she would immediately have to put them here. All right, so now Jen makes level four bodies. If I try to make a level three body, she'll just make a level four and stay on top of that market. Okay. And that was that. And so this goes away. Two more come out. And it's another double. Oh my gosh. Wow. And a single engine. All right. So it's my turn now. I have no workers. I would like to jump up here and grab a single worker so I could put another car into the market. And remember, anytime I want, I could use my switch them up and I could use that to change the qualities of a car I've already got in the market, including pulling a couple guys back so that I'd still be in the lead for service and hopefully still get that 10 bucks, but then suddenly I'd have some guys. But I'll wait until I need that till the moment is right. But in the meantime, what am I going to do? Am I just going to jump up one? You know what? Nope. I, I got to, you know, oh. oh, gracious. So this is interesting. I want to just jump up here. I, I, to heck with the worker. Let Jen have it. I, I, cause I don't want to miss this because if I take this, I cross the finish line, I've lapped and I get three points for being the first to lap. And so I'd really like to do that. And I'm willing to give up a worker, let Jen have another one. Heck, she's got so many, she doesn't really care about having one more. And that will give Jen a worker. But if I instead jump up here, I'll get to do that lap and I'll get to attract the third and final customer. And so I will get to specify, you know, what the rules are. And if I attract, you know, another one of these guys, I'll get the achievement for um, being, you know, for attracting two of the same type. Interesting. Hmm. Or, you know, for attracting the second of a given type, I should have said. It's, it's not like I had to do both of them. I just have to be the one. The player is the first to choose a second buyer of one category. So if I jump up here, not only will I cross the finish line, I will prevent Jen from being able to determine who the last buyer is. And if I make it this or this, well, I won't get, I mean, if I, if I make an engine, I'll get a point, but Jen's better at engines than me. I don't want to do that. But I will get three points for getting that achievement. But if I jump up here, I'll get, well, I'll give Jen one step up. That'll put her into third place, which is not that big a deal. And I'll, you know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to make the big jump. Boom. Alrighty. So I get to move up. Hooray. And now I've crossed the finish line, which is one point. But more importantly, I am the first to do a lap. This is three points for me at the end of the game for that achievement. Okay. I don't think I'm going to make a second lap this era though. Not with my incredibly slow car. So I did that and I also get to choose another customer. I do, I, you know what? I'm not going to choose another service-based customer 
because Jen has a lot more workers and she could put a card that would win this second service based customer. So, but Jen can beat me on engines as well. But I know I want to do one of these so that I can get this achievement because I'm going to get this three point achievement as well. But is it this customer or this customer? Do I mean, either way, I won't get the bonus. Um, I guess I'll do service because I know I can't beat Jen on engines because she has level two engines. I only have level one engines. If she builds anything, it'll be, it'll win. So I have a chance of winning this depending, although I don't have the workers to do it, but we'll see how it goes. But anyway, the important thing is I just got two achievements. I just made six points, but I paid for it dearly because Jen, meanwhile, will go, thank you very much. There's a worker. Thank you very much. I am going one two and now Jen is in third place so she's scoring two points and she says thank you very much and she will make one of her magnificent level fours a Bugatti 41 look at that beauty although you'll notice Jen is starting to run out of space in her garage although you can always just toss one if you need more space to build something so Jen's got a level two body and a level four body wow and now Jen's got a choice to make she can just jump up one and make another one of her level two engines so she can get another one of these cars built or she can skip that and get some more technology. And she, you know, is a little bit worried about that because if she doesn't, if she doesn't take technology, she'll give me the chance to um, jump up so I can start making level five engines. Although, unfortunately, I don't have an engineer to activate that. But still, she's got to be a little bit worried about that, about giving up her engine superior or her body superiority. Because if I take that, yeah, I'll be making level fives, a Mercedes SSK. Ooh. What should I do? What should she do? Go for the engine, just go for the quick, get another car onto the market. You know, plus Jen knows that, you know, she knows what the, what the market wants now because she's in the position to be able to sell or, 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 or maintain a stranglehold on the technology. Although if she does that, she lets me build an engine for free. Which actually she doesn't care about because I already have a crappy engine. If I build another level one engine, she genuinely does not care if I build another crappy level one engine. So it's not like she's giving me anything because I mean, I, I, it's a, that is a crappy action for me. So I think because of that, Jen's going to jump ahead, which gives her another worker and some tech. And look at that. All right, so now, one, two, three, four, five, six, level sixes. A BMW 328 is her next body. Wow, that is crazy. I don't know if I will ever catch up to that stranglehold Jen has on car design. She is making ultra modern, beautiful cars. But in the meantime, well, she let me build an engine. Yippee skippy. Not very exciting. And, um, you know, and I can't put a level one, I, I can't even upgrade. So, and now it's my turn. I could build another engine and get a worker. I certainly don't care about that, where Jen does. She would love to do this. But, so I'm going to skip that and do this triple action again. No, but actually the triple action is kind of crap now because I don't need to move any farther forward. I'm not going to lap again. I'm still in first place. I'm assuming Jen's not going to pass me. She'll probably come in second because she's making big jumps. But I can well, it's interesting. If I do the customer, since there are no more spaces for customers, this will get one step closer to triggering the end of the round. So if I jump up here, really, I'm not going to achieve much other than, oops, but what's the new technology? I keep forgetting to put it out. Oh, uh, let's see. Okay. So these are both interesting. This is put an engineer and you'll be making, you know, a higher level engine or body and immediately make one. So you just instantly get to make one of these higher levels. So those are nice. Huh. But I'm not that excited about either of those. Well, what do I want to do? Hmm. Let's see. I'd like to, I do need to get some more workers. This is really kind of hurting me not to have them. But jumping up here just to build another crappy level one engine. Blech. Blech, I say. And coming up here, I'd get some tech which I would not be able to use because I'm out of dudes. Although, you know, again, I can call some dudes back anytime I want, but then Jen could, you know, beat me on that race. Wow. Another interesting uh, objective, be the first with three engi special engineers. I've got one, so when more engineers come out, I want to make sure I grab them so I could be chasing that objective as well. Oh, shoot, I forgot. By the way, Jen has done an achievement. Jen built a car, or a... Yeah, Jen built a body with a level four. 
She was the first to build one that was at level three. She actually skipped, leapfrogged it, and she got this three point achievement. And then there's another one for building the first that's a level seven. Same for engines. Hmm. The first player to get a second car on the market scores three points. Maybe I just want to go for that. Jen can't do it. I can't do it. If I just get a body really quick and get a car into the market, and it's almost who cares what the car is, I will be the first to have two cars in the market and score three points. That means I got to jump all the way over here and giving Jen one, two, three, four, five actions. Oh, man. So scary. But I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to jump way up here. All right, which gets me another worker, which means I could put something in the market. And I, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, I, I took a body. And I do build, for the record, I build level three bodies. And, but it's too late for me to get that achievement. So here's a BMW Dixie. Isn't that adorable? And remember, at the end of your turn, as a bonus thing, which I haven't been doing for a while, but I'm going to do it now, I'm going to go ahead and put the Dixie in the market. Hello! And I've only got one guy, so I'll put the one guy on him, on it. And I have to set a price. Huh. All right, but the important thing is, I've got two in the market, so I just scored this three-point achievement. The achievements are getting gobbled up quick. And, let's see. Now I know... Oh, well, see, this is interesting. I currently have the highest, the best body car on the market. I be, I'm beating Jen's nine with my three. So Jen has to get this level four beat to sell to her original customer. If I could trigger the end of the round before Jen gets her next car bot, then I've got, wow, I've got all three customers. Well, not all three. Yes, I could. Ooh. Because it would be, there'd be four, oh my gosh. Wow, that's very, very cool. But you know what Jen's going to do? Jen's just going to do this. She's going to make an engine and then put it in the market. And the round's going to end now, actually, I think. And so, yeah, Jen's just going to jump up here, get another worker, get an engine. She'll put her level four with her level two engine. And the, the market will be full, and that'll trigger the end. She'll have a level four engine, which beats my guy. Hmm. And etc. Right. Well, with that in mind, that means if this is my last turn, then I, I have to use my switch em up, change em ups now before Jen goes. So I better do it now. I will go on ahead and use one of my two switch em ups, and it's out of the game. I can never do it again. And I will use it. You know, so before I, you know, during my turn, the first thing was I did my actions. Before I actually built this Dixie, I used a switch em up. And I'm going to pull two people back. See, but Jen's going to put another car out. And she could, she could put a lot of workers on it to, to line these up. So do I need to keep? But yeah, I can't do it. Right, okay. So I took two of my guys back. And is there anything else I want to switch about this car? See, now I could bring the price down. Or actually, can I switch as many things as I want? This is the first time I've ever used diesel, I have to admit. What does it say exactly? Diesel. All right, let's read that here. The player takes the two engineers mark change. If he discards one of them in his turn, he may change one category. Not all of them, just one category of one of his cars at the market. Either uh, body, engine, number of workers, or price. Okay. So... Hmm. But anyway, so I had two more, so I could have put three on this, and then I've got two cars in the market, both of which feature a lot of, what do you call them, a lot of service. And two of the three buyers care about that. So maybe this is a good thing. Because I know Jen's going to put out a level four car, because she has to, because otherwise this level three car will sell to him. And so, wow. Oh yeah, that's perfect. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I'm spending a lot of workers, but I think this is going to work out pretty well. Okay, here. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Okay. So that was that. Big move. Use my special power. Swap stuff around. I've got two highly serviced cars. I've got no workers. We'll see how it goes. And now it is Jen's turn. And so Jen realized she could build her engine. She could get this in the market and she would sell to um, this because she'd have the best body car in the world. And you know, she could set it as an eight 
And she'll know, she knows she gets it. But then what'll happen? Then we come to this. This will sell, and then this will sell, and Jen's other car will not sell. And this worker will go away. She will have wasted this worker. She will have wasted that action. She wants to, be the, the, she wants to sell two to three of these customers, not me. But I've set this up with this switcheroo. Hmm. So maybe Jen doesn't want to end it right now. But she's got to be worried. If she doesn't end it, and if I get another body really quick, then I could end it, and I could have three cars in the market. So Jen can't let that happen. Huh, let's see here. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I think she's going to have to do it. So, she will go on ahead and jump here. Gives her another worker. And wow, she is only two away from getting this seven-pointer. She's got so many workers active just because I've been letting her have them. That is crazy. And she gets to build an engine, and she builds level two engines, as we recall. Oh, that's another problem for Gen 2. If she ends it right now, she's still in third place. She won't get a chance to move up on the Grand Prix to move from third place to second place. Although, that's only two points to jump up. So I don't think she cares that much about that. She doesn't want to lose her sales, though. Wow, okay. So, she's built this, and now at the end of her turn, she's going to put a level 4 and a level 2. She's going to say it's a, an 8. And, um, you know, now she could. She could go on ahead and put four workers on here and have the most workers, but here's the thing. These sales are going to happen from top to bottom. This guy is going to buy the best there is, and it's going to be this one. There's no getting around it. So, Jen has no reason to put anything more than one worker on there, because it's going to be sold just because of the quality of the, of the body. And that which is going to leave these two, and so this one will be gone, and Jen doesn't have the opportunity to go back and change this. So, that's it. We have finished the first era. Mm, uh, let's see. And we now go to final scoring. So, I believe we score the Grand Prix first. Isn't that correct? Yes, we do. So, we score the Grand Prix. I, ha I get one point for having lapped. The more laps you do, the more points you get. And uh, since I'm in first place, I get seven points. All right, so that was eight points. Pretty happy about that. And Jen is in third place, so she gets two points. Okay, so that's it for the Grand Prix, and now things reset. Although these dummy players, they just always stay here to represent cars that we're trying to get past. It works really nice, the super system, very much like Belfort, nicely done. Okay, so that's it for the Grand Prix. Now we go to the sales. We start from the top to bottom. This guy says, show me the prettiest car around, and Jen's got it. So Jen sold this to this gentleman. She scored eight points for getting this sale. And now this guy goes back. And all these other pieces, you know, they're, they're just gone. I'm ready to be done again. And this guy is done. And now, let's see. Uh, next up, this person wants some high service. And hey, look at all this service I'm providing. Oh, whoops, I never set a price on this. It was a, a, a price of, oh shoot. I put this guy down first. I could have made it. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I, when I put that down, I forgot to set the price of my Dixie at an eight, which means the, the gen, the car she just sold, was only a six. Nice. Okay, so I'm going to sell to this, this uh, quality, this service customer. And so that means I have all three of them. That means I just scored eight bucks. And, uh, you know, these cars go away. And now there's one more quality. And so that means I did it. I got my 10 bucks. Although I used up all my workers, and you know, um, you know, they really cared about the quality of service, even though this is a crappy ancient car now in terms of its design. And no, there's nobody else, nobody bought this car of Jen's, so she still loses this worker, um, you know, that money, and you know, so basically, that was it, folks. That was the first of three eras. And so now we move on to the second era. We reset this. These guys get reset. Uh, these point, uh, we're moving into second era. So now the prices we set in the first era, those are set aside, and we set out second era prices of 12, 11, because we're in the, the fuchsia era. Let's see, nine, eight, and then six, five, two, and three. So all the prices are a little bit higher. We're moving on into the second one. Oh, uh, there's more opportunities to uh, get points for attracting customers. Why was there no dollar on here? There should have been. Oh, okay. And actually, I forgot. Right, there should have been a dollar on here because nobody ever attracted this customer. Hold on a second. Okay, let's, right. What was it? It was, because this is actually an important element too. There should have been one marker here 
and one marker here because nobody attracted an engine customer. Instead, we only attracted these types of customers. So this is how it I must have mixed up at some point and pulled these off incorrectly. So we refill all these. So once again, there's two points to be had for being the first to attract one of the body customers. And now there's two points to be had for engines. Only one point to be had for service and two bonus points to be had for cost conscious. All right, and the cars have reset, or our laps have reset, and um, we move on. And it's still Jen's turn. So I think she'll start out the beginning of the second era quite nicely with three actions she gets to do. She gets to be the first out the door, one, two, she's on the track, and she gets to do a technology, and she gets to do a customer, let's see. What kind of technology? I think she wants to, she's already making incredible bodies, although one, two, three, four, five, six. She can make six. If she can make a level seven body, she could score this bonus point sucker right there. So she wants to do that because she'd make it immediately. Or does she want to start making better engines? Because she makes a better engine, she can increase her Grand Prix and maybe do better in the Grand Prix. But anyway, after she's taken this technology, she is also going to attract a customer. So, and she's going to have to choose who is the first customer that's going to be available for sale. Oh my goodness. Oh my stars and garters. I see. So, she has a decision to make with uh, which of these techs she's going to take. Oh wow. That is a tough choice. But you know what? I've done it, folks. As promised, I have gotten you to the beginning of the second era and hopefully you have a pretty good idea of what Croft Hogan has. We're going to do this for a second era, which will end when all of these cars are gone or all the, these spaces are filled up and this moves down to zero. We'll score the Grand Prix again. We'll sell some cars. There will be some surprises along the way. More engineers will come out with cool special powers. We will continue to chase the achievements. Um, and at the end of the game, we'll see who wins. That's it. That's Croft Hogan. And now, if you'd like to see some final thoughts, you can hit the little eye up in the top right corner of the screen and go to final thoughts in five, four, three, two, one.